So, so aging infrastructure is a huge contributor to, to high costs and actually poor public health in urban areas. And the way that works is the utility companies, um, they have these power plants, um, normally in kind of rural areas, a little bit further away from the cities. And then they have these huge transmission lines that they use to, to transmit the electricity uh, to an urban center. And you actually produce a ton of electricity and kind of lose a pretty significant percentage of it as it, as it, as it, as it moves. And, and, and so there's already some costs that everyone is paying for uh, through kind of older inefficient infrastructure because of the inefficiency of the transmission lines. And the, the, the actual age and inefficiency of the buildings themselves um, are also pretty expensive because they waste energy, right? So they're inefficient, they overconsume electricity per square foot. Um, and, so, and so that's how aging infrastructure really contributes to wasted electricity, and wasted electricity is expensive electricity. I mean, we're learning um, that when you, you, you green a building, when you do energy efficiency in a building, you're actually um, lowering the amount of indoor air pollution that gets trapped inside the building, and so you're, we're actually reducing asthma rates as we green each building. And lots of inner city communities have lots of pollution. The pollution gets trapped inside the buildings. It drives high asthma rates. There's lots of families going to the emergency room with chronic asthma, and so it's this huge public health crisis. It's a huge cost. Um, and so we know that there's all these benefits to greening buildings. You know, President Jimmy Carter put solar panels on the White House, I think, in like the 70s, before I was even born and started a green buildings program called the Weatherization Assistance Program, I think in like 1976. And from then to now, um, from a policy perspective, we've been trying to figure out how to unlock the benefits of energy efficiency um, across America for decades, right? Because we know that energy efficiency is gonna reduce energy costs for building owners. It's going to create local jobs. Um, it's going to reduce our dependence and reliance on foreign oil. Um, and, you know, it's just going to be awesome all around for the environment. The challenges to greening the buildings is um, buildings, each building is unique. It's custom. Um, it has its own profile, its own history, its own performance. Um, you may have two buildings that were built at the exact same time, but the history of maintenance is totally different. The owners have been totally different. The ways that the building are used are totally different. And so you have to learn about the profile of each building before you can make an energy efficiency intervention. And the cost of learning the profile of each building is prohibitive. It's too expensive. Um, and so the cost of analyzing these buildings can be anywhere from $5,000 to $500,000, depending on the size of the building. And it's, it's a difficult thing to ask a building owner to pay um, that amount of money to kind of figure out what's possible um, to do in terms of sustainability. So that's problem number one. And problem number two is that um, banks are not comfortable providing capital to many of these buildings. As part of thinking through our CGIU commitment, we had to uh, come up with you know, a range of solutions for the engineering problem and the financial problem um, to help green buildings in American cities. And so what we've had to do at Block Power is we worked with Goldman Sachs and Barclays to develop a structured financial product. Its only reason for existence is, is fig to figure out um, how to, how to analyze buildings and borrow money in aggregate in a large enough pool um, so, that we can, so that we can kind of finance the green building interventions that we've made. And then at Block Power, we've developed a set of technology working with data scientists and the Internet of Things um, that allow us to lower the building analysis cost by about 95%. We install sensors, we use cloud uh, computing, we have an algorithm, a building science algorithm that we've built internally at Block Power that, that takes all of the real-time data that we're collecting from sensors that we install in the building. Um, we analyze that real-time data. We're able to make recommendations as to what mix of solar panels, high efficiency heating systems, what ways we can kind of alter and optimize the performance of that building's energy system so that it saves money, reduces greenhouse gas. Um, we're able to hire locally, uh, to have local contractors come in and install solar panels, install new heating systems and boilers. Um, so the project's going really well. What's so interesting about these buildings is that they're really profitable investments, right? So if you can figure it out, um, 
you know, you can make investments in some of these buildings that have a 60% financial return. They pay for themselves within one year, and within two years, you start to make a financial return. In five years, you've made a 50% return. I mean, that's better than buying stocks, right? There's just a lot of uh, industry barriers um, in terms of engineering analysis, financial analysis, construction, implementation um, that stand in the way of getting green buildings projects off the ground. So when we think um, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now, about how green technology can really increase efficiency, uh, improve infrastructure, and lower costs, instead of burning fossil fuels at a power plant you know, 50 miles away from New York City or from Boston, we can now have local uh, solar panels, solar PV, um, we can have local electric batteries that store electricity that's generated by those panels uh, inside the city of Boston or inside the city of New York. Um, it's, the electricity is produced locally, it's transmitted locally, it's used locally. We're going to save a ton of money. It's going to be awesome for the environment.